check this out. Let's talk about FIFA 19 Stadium. So today is going to be a big recap of all the confirmed FIFA 19 new stadiums. And I'm also going to be talking about the stadiums that won't be in FIFA 19. And I'm also going to be providing my suggestions for new stadiums that I would like to see in FIFA 19. Now some of you guys, you're very in touch with the channel. You've watched all the videos. So some of this information might get a little repetitive for you. But this recap is for the ones that don't know much about FIFA 19 Stadium so far. And that's why I'm doing this big video because I haven't really done one like this on the channel yet. And of course, Vapex News is the number one source for FIFA 19 news, so make sure you're subscribed if you're new, and hit the notification bell today as well, and you won't be disappointed. So let's start with part one for this video, and that is the confirmed new stadiums. We're going to start with the biggest one, and that's going to be the Spurs new stadium. And this Spurs stadium, the new one, has a capacity of 62,062 people. Some of these capacities might be wrong, some of these might be right, I don't know. Um, I'm just going by what I found in research. And it also hosts NFL games as well. So this is going to be the stadium for American football when it comes to the UK. Probably you, you guys probably don't care about it besides a few of my uh, American supporters. But just so you know, this will be an American football partnership stadium as well. And you can see it. It is a very modern stadium based on the concepts. I think it looks stunning. Um, it's going to have the latest technology and stuff like that. It can fit NFL pitch and a soccer pitch or football pitch in the same space. So that's really cool. And it's going to look very, very nice in game. I can't wait to see it when it's completed. And I can't wait to see it in FIFA 19 when you're playing career mode against Spurs. Now the second new stadium is the Borussia Dortmund Stadium. Which is making its return to FIFA. And that is the Signale Duna Park. Now this one was the most controversial one. Because it was like a FIFA versus Pez sort of thing. And obviously FIFA won this battle. Uh, basically Dortmund decided to end their contract with Pez early. And I don't know if EA paid them off or they made a good offer for them, but they decided to come back to EA and FIFA. So that means their exclusive deal with um, PES with the stadium is going to be abolished. And that means they're coming back to FIFA. Now, Signal Iduna Park was last seen in FIFA 17, I think. So it wasn't that long ago. It was like last year or two years ago now since we last saw it. But it is coming back for FIFA 19. I don't know what EA did to actually get Dortmund back. But I do hope that EA do like a full Bundesliga treatment, um, just like the Premier League. There is rumours about that. I don't know if it's true yet. Maybe we'll see some Bundesliga scans, but all of this is just speculation at the moment. But Pez obviously did a very good job with the Signal Iduna Park. They put the music in as the players walked out. Um, a lot of the stadium work as well, in terms of the crowds and stuff, was very well done by Pez. And we all know Pez can deliver when they want to with that sort of stuff. Um, they do it with Anfield as well. FIFA's ones, hopefully when they get it back in um, FIFA 19, that they actually do stadium music for them and have the banners, the flags, you know, all that good stuff. I guess we'll have to wait and see, but I don't know. If they copy Pez, I guess it'll be all right because Pez did a good job with it. But I don't know, maybe FIFA just wanted them back for licensing purposes just to have that monopoly, you know, over the stadiums. And we all know FIFA benefits a lot by licensing. So whether or, whether or not they do a good treatment of Dortmund is yet to be seen. But to have them back is always a good thing because I did miss Signal to Duna Park. And it's going to be good for career mode when you're playing in the Champions League against them as well. So we still have three new stadiums that are going to be coming to FIFA 19. Now you guys know that over the last few seasons, EA have been able to add every Premier League team stadium in the game. I think it's some exclusive deal with the Premier League and I expect no different in FIFA 19. Now there's three stadiums that are now going to be added into FIFA 19 because their respective teams are now have now been promoted into uh, the Premier League and we're going to be reading off them now. So the first stadium is going to be Fulham Stadium called Craven Cottage. Its capacity is 25,700. And the second one is Wolverhampton Wanderers Stadium. It's called the Molyneux... I don't even know. Molyneux, Molyneux. I don't know. It's a French French name. I can't say it. You know you know my pronunciation skills by now. They're very bad. I'm not a Martin Tyler. So I'm not going to be applying for any commentator's positions anytime soon. But the capacity for that stadium is uh, 31,700. So a decent size. And then we have Cardiff City. And they have the Cardiff City Stadium, capacity 33,300. So those are the three teams coming up in the Premier League. And of course, their stadiums are coming up with them, which is good because I always enjoy doing the Premier League uh, in FIFA. And you get the full 20 stadiums and they're all licensed as well. It does really enhance the way you play the game mode. 
And of course, it's something that Pez does lack. It doesn't feel like a Premier League season when you're playing Master League without all the licenses. So licensing is definitely a big thing for me when I play because I want to experience the full branding and stuff like that. And the Premier League deal is very nice and it's something that EA has done a good job with in terms of getting the stadiums in the game and stuff. Maybe not all the player faces have been updated. I wish they would update a lot of the player faces in the Premier League because some of them are very outdated. But yeah, in terms of stadiums, I can't really complain. And now we move on to the second part of the video and that is the stadiums that won't be in FIFA 19. And you probably guessed it, but the first one is a big stadium called the Camp New or the New Camp, however you want to present it. It is from Barcelona. And this is because Barcelona have a deal with Konami and Pez, which means that the new camp is exclusive to Pez until the deal ends. Now, I think that the deal is expected to end in 2019, so next year we might see if Barca decide to renew their deal with Konami or go back to FIFA like Dortmund did recently. So, the Barcelona team will still be licensed, so don't worry about that. It's just going to be the same. We're going to have Messi, we're going to have all the other players. It's just the stadium that's going to be missing. So, unless EA can do some magic and somehow find like a loophole to get it, in their game as well it's not going to be happening and i would like fifa eventually to get it back though because the new camp is obviously one of the biggest team or not the biggest teams but it's one of the biggest stadiums belonging to one of the biggest teams in uh, fifa and around the world as well so they are a key club in um, career mode barcelona so we're going to be versing them in career modes all the time especially if you're playing in the champions league and a lot of people like to do a career mode with barcelona as well so having the new camp missing in fifa 19 is a big issue and i think ea do know that and ea this is my personal message to you i don't care how much money it costs make sure you get the camp new back now if you have been enjoying the 12 new stadiums in fifa 19 i'm afraid i've got some bad news the 12 new stadiums that you are using in the fifa 18 world cup mode are uh, most likely not going to be in FIFA 19. I think EA Corey did say on Twitter a few weeks ago that he thinks that the new 12 stadiums in FIFA 18 um, for the World Cup mode, obviously, are exclusive to the World Cup mode only and are not for future FIFA games. So it's not 100% confirmed, but if EA Corey says it, and judging by previous FIFA World Cup games, um, we have not seen many of the new stadiums brought over to the FIFA game itself so I'm doubting we're going to see any of the 12 new stadiums in FIFA 19 so make sure you use them while you can and make the most of it. Next we move on to part 3 of the video and that is the new stadiums that I would like to see in FIFA 19. Now these are just going to be a few of my suggestions it's not my full list but if you want another stadium suggestions video I can do one on the channel. I just need you guys to leave a comment what stadiums do you want to see and why and then i can feature you guys in the video as well and we can do a nice stadium suggestions video so the first stadium suggestion i have is the allianz stadium and that is in sydney australia it belongs to sydney fc and its capacity is 45,500. now the a-league is licensed in fifa for many many years now and we currently have not many real faces if any at all because i can't think of one off the top of my head and there's no licensed australian stadiums so australians love fifa and FIFA is the best selling game in Australia compared to PES. So I think it's time EA do show some love to my country. Sydney FC is one of the most successful A-League teams. So I think adding their stadium is a good place to start. And yeah, I hope EA finally show some love for the A-League. My next stadium suggestion is Celtic Park in Glasgow, Scotland. It belongs to Celtic FC and the capacity is 60,832. So a very decent sized stadium. I think this is an important stadium to add because now with the Champions League license in career mode, we need to have as many new European stadiums added to the game as possible. Now, Celtic has always been a team I seem to be matched up with when I play career mode Champions League, and I always play at their generic stadium. And of course, Celtic are the current champions of the Scottish Premier League as well, so it wouldn't hurt if EA could throw in their stadium as well in FIFA 19. And my last stadium suggestion for this video is the Stadio San Paolo, located in Naples, Italy. And of course, it belongs to the Napoli team. The capacity for this stadium is 60,240, so a very decent sized stadium as well. And it would be nice to have more Serie A stadiums in the game, especially if EA has acquired the Serie A license again, because that is the current rumor, but nothing's been confirmed yet, of course. And the main reason I want the Napoli stadium in the game is because just like the Celtic team, I always get matched up with them in career mode Champions League and you lose the authentic experience every time you got to play at that generic stadium of theirs. So I think now with the Champions League license in FIFA 19, like I said, we need as many real European stadiums as possible in the game. And it will be nice to play at the Stadio San Paolo because it's got a great atmosphere. You know when they score the goal at the 
and the and they got the announcer guy who yells out the last name and the whole stadium just repeats the last name. I think there's a few videos on YouTube about it. It's very nice to see. Maybe EA could throw that in as well if they want to add that stadium in. That would certainly enhance the experience of playing there. But I don't know. I think I'm asking for too much. I think just getting the stadium in the game would be a big achievement. And I just quickly want to say thank you to those who have bought the career mode transfer guide over the last few days. You are helping the channel grow a lot. And if you haven't bought it yet, check the link in the description. It will help you do transfers in career mode a bit better. So if you want to watch another FIFA 19 video, tap the thumbnail on your screen right now. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, tap the VK icon underneath the thumbnail. And I'll see you next time.